Here we are at Balburnie Home Farms in Fife, Scotland. We are the AHDB Strategic Cereals Farm. We've just completed year one of the project and primarily during that year we've been baselining data on the farm looking at beneficial insects and pests, plant and crop health and nutrition and also soil health using the VES scorecard. This information will be put to good use over the years to come as we progress through the project so we can look back and see where we started as a business on this fundamental information and we can see how we improve things over the years and it can also be used to steer decisions for trials and what trials we run um, as the project progresses. I'm Fiona Burnett from Scotland's Rural College and I've been coordinating some of the AHDB work here on the strategic farm in Scotland where we've been looking at the interplay between crop nutrition and plant health and by trialling and doing regular testing through the season we've really been encouraged in this first year of the work that we can pick up um, very small changes in plant health and plant nutrition and identifying for example things like manganese deficiency way before we have symptoms and we were also able to successfully reduce the fungicide inputs where we had those better nourished plants and lower disease risk with only minimal impact on yield. So in terms of the messages for next year coming from that, it really is the ability to target the fertiliser inputs both spatially in fields but also through time by combining the tissue testing uh, with the soil testing results and then to think about really targeting the fungicide inputs to those lower risk situations. So absolutely with something like Septoria, we can reduce the, the fungicide inputs and make savings on that front as well. At Bulburnie, we're surveying the levels of natural enemies, such as ground beetles and spiders, and exploring how these predators impact in pests. We've focused on determining how these natural enemies use field margins and the adjacent fields. We know that the rough tussocky vegetation that is typically found in agricultural field margins provides excellent overwintering habitat for many predators. When these predators emerge in spring, they migrate into the adjacent fields, providing an important first line of defence against pests. At Bilburnie, we found a wide range of species active in the field margins in spring. However, not all of these species are active in the field centres. In spring, species with high dispersal capabilities, like money spiders, were found in good numbers in the field centres, while less mobile species, such as large ground active wool spiders, took longer to disperse into the fields. Measures such as beetle banks provide winter harbourage in the field and this is likely to ensure less mobile species are able to access the field centres in spring.